8 Colon Cancer Signs and Symptoms, How to Reduce the Risk of Colon Cancer. Today we are exploring the signs and symptoms of colon cancer, CRC. Before we get started please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. Colon Cancer Signs and Symptoms. Colon cancer, also known as colorectal cancer, is a type of cancer that affects the large intestine, colon, or rectum. The colon and rectum are part of the digestive system, and their function is to remove water and salt from the food we eat before it is eliminated from the body as waste. Colon cancer begins as small, non-cancerous, benign, clumps of cells called adenomatous polyps that form on the inner lining of the colon or rectum. Over time, some of these polyps can become cancerous, malignant, and grow into the surrounding tissue. Symptoms of colon cancer may include abdominal pain, cramping, changes in bowel habits, blood in the stool, weakness, fatigue, and unintended weight loss. However, many people with colon cancer may not experience any symptoms in the early stages of the disease. Regular screening for colon cancer is recommended, particularly for those who are at higher risk due to factors such as age, family history, or certain medical conditions. Treatment options for colon cancer may include surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, or a combination of these approaches. Early detection and treatment are important for improving the chances of successful treatment and recovery. What increases the risk of colon cancer? Several factors can increase the risk of developing colon cancer, including 1. Age. The risk of colon cancer increases with age, with most cases occurring in people over 50. 2. Personal or family history of colon cancer. If you have had colon cancer before or have a family history of the disease, your risk of developing it is higher. 3. Inherited genetic mutations. Certain genetic mutations can increase the risk of developing colon cancer. These include mutations in the APC, MLH1, MSH2, and other genes. 4. Inflammatory bowel disease, IBD, chronic inflammation of the colon, such as ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease, can increase the risk of developing colon cancer. 5. Unhealthy diet. A diet that is high in red and processed meats, as well as low in fiber, fruits, and vegetables, may increase the risk of colon cancer. 6. Sedentary lifestyle. Lack of physical activity and prolonged sitting may increase the risk of colon cancer. 7. Obesity. Being overweight or obese may increase the risk of colon cancer. 8. Smoking. Smoking cigarettes or other tobacco products increases the risk of developing colon cancer. 9. Heavy alcohol use. Heavy alcohol consumption may increase the risk of colon cancer. It is important to note that having one or more of these risk factors does not necessarily mean that someone will develop colon cancer, but it may increase the likelihood. It is also possible to develop colon cancer without having any of these risk factors. Before we move on, would you please help us out? If you like this type of content please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications. It really helps us on YouTube and helps others see our content. Also check out the description section below for special information to help you in your health journey. What are the symptoms of colon cancer? In the early stages of colon cancer, many people may not experience any symptoms. However, as the cancer grows and progresses, some common symptoms may include. 1. Changes in bowel habits. This can include diarrhea, constipation, or alternating between the two. 2. Abdominal pain or cramping. This can be persistent or come and go. 3. Blood in the stool. This can be bright red or dark and tarry. 4. Unintended weight loss. This can occur even if you are eating normally. 5. Fatigue or weakness. This can be caused by anemia, a condition in which there is a low level of red blood cells. 6. A feeling that your bowel doesn't completely empty after a bowel movement. 7. Nausea or vomiting. This can occur if the cancer is causing a blockage in the colon. 8. Abdominal swelling or bloating. This can occur if the cancer is causing a blockage in the colon. It is important to note that these symptoms can also be caused by conditions other than colon cancer, such as hemorrhoids, irritable bowel syndrome, or inflammatory bowel disease. However, if you are experiencing any of these symptoms, especially if they persist or worsen over time, it is important to see your doctor for evaluation and diagnosis. What is tenesmus? Tenesmus is a condition characterized by the feeling of incomplete emptying of the bowel or bladder, even after passing stool or urine. It is often associated with a sense of urgency to have a bowel movement or urinate, even though there may be little or no stool or urine present. 
Tenesmus can be uncomfortable and may cause pain or cramping in the lower abdomen or rectum. Tenesmus can be caused by a variety of conditions, including inflammatory bowel disease, infections of the gastrointestinal or urinary tract, hemorrhoids, anal fissures, or tumors. In some cases, tenesmus may be a symptom of colon cancer. Treatment for tenesmus depends on the underlying cause. In some cases, lifestyle changes such as increasing fiber intake, drinking more fluids, or engaging in regular exercise may help relieve symptoms. In other cases, medications or surgery may be necessary to treat the underlying condition. It is important to see a doctor if you are experiencing tenesmus or other symptoms of gastrointestinal or urinary tract problems to receive an accurate diagnosis and appropriate treatment. How to prevent colon cancer. While it is not possible to completely eliminate the risk of developing colon cancer, there are steps you can take to help reduce your risk. Get regular screenings. Regular screenings for colon cancer, such as colonoscopy or stool tests, can help detect the disease early or even prevent it by detecting and removing precancerous polyps. Maintain a healthy diet. Eating a diet that is rich in fiber, fruits, and vegetables, and low in red and processed meats, can help reduce the risk of colon cancer. Exercise regularly. Regular physical activity, such as brisk walking or jogging, can help reduce the risk of colon cancer. 4. Avoid smoking and limit alcohol consumption. Smoking and heavy alcohol consumption have been linked to an increased risk of colon cancer. Manage your weight. Being overweight or obese can increase the risk of colon cancer, so maintaining a healthy weight through a balanced diet and regular exercise is important. Consider aspirin therapy. For certain people at high risk of colon cancer, regular use of aspirin or other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, may help reduce the risk. Get vaccinated. The human papillomavirus, HPV, vaccine can help reduce the risk of developing certain types of colon cancer caused by the virus. It is important to talk to your doctor about your personal risk factors for colon cancer and develop a plan for screening and prevention based on your individual needs. What is Cologuard? Cologuard is a non-invasive screening test for colon cancer that was approved by the United States Food and Drug Administration, FDA, in 2014. It is a stool-based test that can be done at home, and it is designed to detect changes in DNA and other biomarkers that may indicate the presence of colon cancer or precancerous polyps. To take the Cologuard test, a person collects a stool sample at home and sends it to a laboratory for analysis. The test is able to detect certain changes in DNA that may be present in cancer cells or precancerous polyps. If the test is positive, indicating the presence of abnormal DNA, a follow-up colonoscopy is usually recommended to confirm the diagnosis and remove any precancerous polyps. Cologuard is not a replacement for regular colonoscopies, which are still considered the gold standard for colon cancer screening. However, it may be a useful alternative for people who are not able or willing to undergo a colonoscopy or other invasive screening tests. It is important to talk to your doctor about the best screening options for you based on your individual risk factors and preferences. Regular screening for colon cancer is also important, even if you are not experiencing any symptoms, particularly if you have any risk factors for the disease. If you want to live your best healthy life, then check out our special links below in the description section. To see more of our videos, research links, and more informative links, check out the description section below. Disclaimer: Always check with your doctor before trying anything, especially if you are on medication. This information is just to be used as general knowledge and not medical advice. Thanks for watching our video. Please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification button so you don't miss a video.